Hey, and welcome. Today, a short video about back focus. How do you achieve the correct distance between your sensor and your flattener? Let's dive in. So back focus. What is back focus? Back focus determines the optimum distance from the uh, back side of the flattener to the front side of the camera sensor. So in this case I have here a flattener reducer. Uh, and this flattener has the lens element at this side with a threaded end over here. So this will be the end where the telescope is. For instance, my camera is an ASI 294 MC Pro from ZWO, ZWO, depending on which continent you are on. It has an 11 millimeter uh, adapter already attached to it. I will leave it on because it never comes off at my camera. The sensor itself is within the body of the camera and it's six and a half millimeters deep in the body. So we will have to have some kind of way to find a position of 55 millimeters from the lens element in the flattener to the sensor of the camera. So we need something in between. ZWO provides you with these kinds of metal rings. This one has a length or width depending on how you look at it, of 16 and a half millimeters. There's another one provided, which has a distance of 21 millimeters. And these just screw onto the camera. So let's do that. We'll put this one onto the camera. And then we will have to screw this one in as well. So we have now 16 and a half plus 21 plus 11 plus 6 and a half is 55, which is generally the uh, optimum distance from a flattener, at least most flatteners, as does this one. But this does not fit to each other. So what do we do now? ZWO provides you with these kinds of things. This is a adapter ring. And when we put this one onto the flattener, we will have the option to attach the entire image train to the flattener. Take some twists and now we have six and a half plus 11 plus 21 plus 60.5 attached to a flattener and we're good to go. But this is for a refractor. This is the Teleview flattener that belongs to the Teleview Pronto refractor. What if we want to use the flattener of a Celestron C8? It looks like this. It's the Celestron F6.3 flattener. This side screws on the telescope. There we have the lens element. Let's put the dust cap on so we don't have to uh, make everything clean, which I have to do anyway, but let's pretend that didn't happen. So what do we do now? We have the camera with the three rings attached to each other, of course, but this does not fit. Plus, this flattener has an optimal distance of 105 millimeters. So what I did was this. I bought a, what is it, a two inch SCT adapter. 
So this has a thread that fits to the SCT. And in this case, it fits also to the flattener. So let's attach this. And this is just your plain old uh, nose piece adapter thingy. So we need a nose piece. This nose piece has a thread already that fits the T2 rings that you find with regular DSLR cameras. And it also fits this end here. So, this uh, SCT adapter has a distance of 48.3. This was 55. And this together will get two millimeters short. But this ring here is exactly two millimeters. So when we attach these two things together, we are in the perfect 105 millimeter distance. I don't use this 21 millimeter ring. So let's remove that. What I have is the ZWO M42 filter drawer. And this filter drawer also has a width of it doesn't say so, but it, uh, it is 21 millimeters. So what I can do now is I can attach this to the camera. I can take the 16 and a half millimeter uh, adapter ring and just attach it on this side. And what I now have is 105 millimeters of back focus, but with the added option of just changing my filters without having to unscrew everything again. So that's my, uh, my little update for you guys.